say goodbye to old school window washing. Take a look here. Drone operators today giving young students a glimpse of the future at the Cradle of Aviation Museum on Long Island. Yeah, the students took a class trip to see an exhibit highlighting the many practical uses of drones. Photo journalist Keith Lopez has a story for us from Garden City. A lot of people think drones are just used for the, by the military. We're demonstrating today that it's used in a lot of practical situations. We're the first and only company right now that's offering drone powered cleaning services. Technology is really advancing at a rapid pace and it's, uh, the, the innovation is pretty incredible. We could typically get a, a project done in you know a, a couple of days or so rather than a few weeks for a cleaning. It's completely hands off. The drone hovers about you know three to six feet from the structure. We have a, a new exhibit. It's part of our Future Is Now campaign, which is the world of drones. We're demonstrating today that it's used in a lot of practical situations. I think it's a good illustration of uh, the future is now, and it's happening every day. This is just the water hose. It fills up these 100-gallon tanks. For something like windows, like we did here today, we're using DI water, which takes the minerals out of the water, so it's left with a streak-free clean. It's kind of cool because uh, you don't have to get up on a scaffold, you don't have to get up on a ladder, you don't have to worry about squeegeeing uh, the windows out. Uh, so it's just it's a perfect uh, perfect fit for us. It's not just cleaning buildings; it's surveillance, uh, exploration, search and rescue. So. There's a lot of different applications for drone usage, and I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of that. They need people who can design them, who can fix them. We're hoping with kids in middle school and with high school is that they can look at the drone industry as something that uh, would be a good career path.